More recently, China's ambitious Chang'e program has opened new chapters in lunar exploration. In 2019, the Chang'e 4 mission achieved the historic first ever soft landing on the far side of the moon. Its U-2 rover continues to explore this unknown territory, giving us our first ground truth data about the geology of the side of the moon we can never see from Earth. Then, in 2020, the Chang'e 5 mission successfully collected and returned the first new lunar samples in over 40 years. These rocks were from a much younger volcanic region than anything Apollo brought back. Their analysis revealed that the moon was volcanically active far more recently than we ever thought, forcing scientists to rethink the timeline of the moon's thermal evolution. Astonishingly, studies of these new samples also found direct evidence of water in the form of glass beads within the lunar soil, suggesting an internal water source on the moon. Modern orbiters have also given us an unprecedented view of our neighbor. NASA's LRO has created stunningly detailed, high-resolution 3D maps of the entire lunar surface, revealing everything from the location of the Apollo landing sites to potential resources. We have discovered vast underground lava tubes, tunnels carved by ancient magma flows that are large enough to house entire cities, offering natural protection from radiation and micrometeorites for future lunar bases. We now know the moon has a tiny, partially molten core experiences moonquakes from tidal stresses and thermal changes, and is surrounded by a tenuous but detectable atmosphere called an exosphere. Our silent gray companion has been revealed to be a dynamic and complex world, one that still holds countless secrets. As we plan our return with programs like Artemis, we go not just to walk in the footsteps of giants, but to build on a new foundation of knowledge ready to unlock the next set of mysteries the moon has waiting for us.